From Tampa Bay Streaming News Source, brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com, this is ABC Action News. Hey there, I'm Jasmine Stiles. You might want to carry your umbrella in case there's a pop-up shower. Greg D is going to have a look at your forecast coming up. In the meantime, here are your ABC Action News headlines. St. Pete police say a man in his late 20s was killed after getting into a fight with another man at a home on First Avenue South overnight. The suspect got into a car and drove off only to crash a few blocks away. Officers took that suspect into custody for questioning and we're waiting to hear if they'll charge him. Hillsborough County deputies are trying to determine how skeletal remains ended up at the Bullfrog Mobile Home Park in Gibsonton. Neighbors say a maintenance worker found those remains in a bag, but deputies have not confirmed that fact. Residents say they're worried about their kids' safety now. Now I gotta, I gotta keep my kids from finding out about this and seeing that, seeing, worrying if this is going to cause them any problems, being it's so close. You know what I mean? If they're going to be able to sleep and, and stuff like that, it's, it's, it, I'm just worried it's going to be traumatizing. Detectives were at the home for hours Wednesday night searching for clues. So far, they have yet to identify who those remains belong to. And the dream of owning a home is becoming more out of reach for many Americans. Home prices just reached a 10 year low when it comes to affordability. But the problem is mortgage rates and rising demand is increasing and more people move to big cities. According to Adam Data Solutions, you need to earn nearly $64,000 to buy a home in Hillsborough County and over 77,000 if you want to live in Manatee. If you are looking to buy, the best bet is to go to Hernando County where home prices are lower. Someone is creating fake Facebook profiles of a Polk County deputy to post hateful messages. The fake accounts use two different names and a real deputy's photograph. The creators posted racially charged comments. Dozens of people contacted the agency concerned they would hire a racist. The damage is done because someone out there on social media saw those ugly, filthy, racist things and thinks one of my deputies said that when it didn't occur at all. Am I outraged? Oh yeah. Sheriff Judd says whoever created those accounts is skirting a very fine legal line. Detectives are still investigating who did it. Now's the time to get your flu shot and today you can get vaccinated for free. Florida Hospital Citrus Park Centricare on Gun Highway is offering free flu shots from 2.30 to 5.30 this afternoon. If you can't make it today, no worries. The Carrollwood Center Care will have free flu shots on Monday. Now let's go to Greg with your forecast. And Jasmine, as we go into the afternoon, temperature is still climbing up to 90, but the humidity will remain a notch lower than it's been. And there will be a couple of showers and storms. That coverage will not be evenly spread throughout the area. North of I-4, only about a 10 to 20% chance of rain. Tampa, 30 to 40%. And once you get south of I-4, oh, the rain chances go up to 60% toward Arcadia, Wachula, and Highlands County. You can track those storms as you head outside by downloading the Storm Shield app. Jasmine. Thanks, Greg. You can now get your news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And don't forget to download the free ABC Action News mobile app to receive breaking news alerts. This ABC Action News Brief was brought to you by AlertFloridaToday.com. Pedestrians, make yourself visible. Wear bright, reflective colors, especially at night, because safety doesn't happen by accident.